Hello there. Welcome to, uh, well, it's the Marta Garcia Show. Well, it's not the Marta Garcia Show. It's the roundup of round four of the W Series, but it might as well be the Marta Garcia Show because you dominated that race like Jamie dominated the first round. Yeah, well, it's true. Um, I started first. I had a really good start. Um, Hello, we've got an audience. No, no, no. Come in. Come in, my friend. Do you know him? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want to go? Come in. Yeah. Come in. Come in. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was really good. Um, had a really good start. I took some meters on the start. Yeah. So I just had a really good piece, which I kept going into until the end of the race. And yeah, I think that's what made me win. Have a um, focus on all laps and yeah, just keep going. What was it about the track layout that appealed to you this weekend? Because you know you've shown your pace in other. In, in other places we've been, Hockenheim was very strong in the race. We've had front row starts before. Well, yeah, um, Hockenheim, as you said, um, it was raining the Saturday, so it was a bit difficult for me because I'm not used to the rain. Um, but yeah, um, in the end, the race was good. I had a really good piece as well. Um, the last two races in Thunder and Misano were a bit more difficult um, for any other reason. I'm not sure which ones yet, but. Um, I know it's it's also for me, um, but yeah, um, this race um, yesterday it didn't feel like it's gonna be this this good. But I I knew what I had to improve, like some some points on the track, and I just tried to make it on track on the qualifying. And I did it, and yeah, I'm just really really happy because I didn't expect to win after yesterday. So it was not it was not going really good. Well. I mean, yesterday you mean pole. No, you don't mean no. pole. You would have expected to win after you got pole, but... Yeah, sure. You mean after practice? Yeah, after practice. Okay. You saw, like, it was, like, maybe P th P13 also because yeah, of yeah, a yeah. problem, but P9, that was the best. Um, so, I mean, the time difference was not so much. It was, like, three tenths, but I was not sure, and I, I, I knew I had to improve something. But, yeah, I just put all my effort there on the qualifying and did the lap. Brilliant. Congratulations. You're right back in the championship. You can go off and do it. Have you been, even been to the engineers yet? I have just been no. from there and you haven't. They're all no. waiting for you. <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Um, your car crew, I was standing with your, with your mechanic during the race who was doing your pit board. And he's got a little photo of you crossing the line on his phone that he wants to show you. <laughs> OK, I will go now and watch it. <laughs> all right, gracias. Well done, Marta. Excellent stuff. Right, uh, so I'm going to have to, Anton, hold this for a sec. You right? Very well, thank you. Good, Thanks. excellent. Yeah, good. Right, okay, so Q1 and race one was Marta Garcia. Jamie Chadwick was uh, third today. So um, uh, she qualified second, but was third in the race. Jamie didn't get away, away particularly well, dropped to P3. She closed on Beitzkevissa, but couldn't catch her in the end. Um, did she settle for second place? I'm not so sure. Um, she has to think long term about the championship, really, doesn't she? Uh, does Jamie Chadwick? But in any way, it was a good. Even though Vissa ate into her lead somewhat, uh, it was uh, it was uh, not so bad. Um, uh, I'm alright. I've got it in my watch. Don't worry. Um, as for uh, Vol, well, let's do Vissa. She started. She qualified fifth, but raced to P2, and it was a great start for Bytska Vissa. She went up to P2, had the same pace as Jamie Chadwick, and managed to hold her off uh, for the whole of uh, the race. Couldn't close on Marta Garcia, as we've heard. Marta was absolutely on it today, so uh, well done her. Um, Fabienne Volven, she qualified third, but raced to P4 today. She dropped one place at the start, got uh, forced wide. Uh, Visa overtook Volvend. She got hit by Chadwick, but uh, banked some good points uh, for the championship, uh, did uh, Fabienne Volven. Gosia Redest is very upset today. Um, oh, there is Volven. There you go. I was just uh, seeing Aaron there. Just doing an interview. Um, Gosia Redest is very upset. You, she's over here in the uh, in the new Natty Oakleys, the lightweight Oakleys over your right shoulder, Aaron. Uh, it's Gosia Redest. While well, I tell you about her, she qualified fourth with fantastic start to the weekend, start to the day, but raced in 14th. Very unlucky. Came together with some other drivers at the start. Damaged the front wing. Um, she said that she could carry on very happily with the front wing that she had. Didn't feel that it made it lost too much performance, but she got the uh, black flag with the orange disc on it from Race Control, which says that uh, 
you have to pit because your car is unsafe. She then pitted because the car they thought was unsafe and in doing so, sped in the pit lane. Apparently it was six kilometers per hour. It was on the pit in. She's also frustrated because her camera on her car doesn't work. Uh, so she can't prove that she slowed down because she had a broken front wing. She slowed down to what she thought was all that she needed to slow down to. Heaven knows that was going to be all right. Good. Uh, that was going to be uh, enough. But still, they got she got a drive-through penalty for speeding in the pit lane. In fact, both the drivers who did in the race today sped in the pit lane. Slightly odd when that happens. You have to ask some questions of race control. But still, uh, both Shea Holbrook and Redest, who went into the pit lane, Shea Holbrook ch changed tyres, Redest changed the front wing, both got done for speeding in the pit lane. But they are uh, exact about that kind of thing around here. Um, so, she, yeah, finished 14th, did uh, Redest. Uh, Bites Gavissa, I think uh, we did that. Yes, we did. Uh, Jess Hawkins now qualified sixth. Where is Jess? Is she around? She qualified sixth and was racing very nicely in the top uh, five, was up to P5. Fifth was in her grasp, but she had a misfire in her car. She saw a, uh, no, uh, she saw, she, she, she heard it go. There was nothing she could do about it and then dropped down uh, the order and eventually retired P16 and a DNF. And uh, that's really unfortunate uh, for her. But uh, everyone, her heart, uh, all of our hearts are with um, Jess Hawkins uh, because she was on for some points, what would have been her first points um, of the season, I think. But it meant that with that misfire, she didn't score any. So, but she has proved to herself and everybody else that she has the pace now. She has found the pace uh, to be uh, a consistent point scorer in the W Series, and that's good for him, her. Uh, Vicky Piria, as you can probably tell by that shot, is not happy. Um, I don't know why, because I haven't spoken to her yet. Um, she was deep in conversation with her engineer. She qualified P7, but finished P9, so dropped a couple of places. Obviously, she isn't happy about that. So uh, I'm going to wait until she's finished this interview with, uh, with that journalist in the double denim. Um, and uh, although I can't talk, sartorially speaking. Uh, and I'll ask uh, Vicky exactly what the issue was, but she doesn't look happy at all, does she? Well, we do, someone who should be happy, which who is Emma Kimilainen, who is just there by the door. Can you see her, Aaron? I think you can see her just about going in, because she is many drivers, and I think probably my driver of the day today, because she qualified P8, a great return to the W Series, having not done, uh, having only done the first bit of the Hockenheim weekend, what seems, 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 like, seems like ages ago, back in May, not done uh, Misano, not done Zolder because she was injured, came back and bang, was straight on the pace. Great return to racing, moved up past Jess Hawkins to P5, was challenging Fabian uh, Volvend, but just didn't get Volvend for P4 uh, and end up with a good chunk of points. Her first points, of course, because she was taken out of the first race uh, of the season. So Kim Alainen has to be my driver of the day. And she was buoyed on by a daily call from her doctor in Finland. And uh, she has a big fin Finnish connection, of course, because she was helped by Hintzer Performance, who are the, uh, the, the, the trainers here. And their founder, Dr. Dr. Aki Hintzer, uh, who died last year, um, was sort of the guru of, of sports performance, uh, both in life uh, and in, in motorsport as well. So um, uh, it's, uh, it's just, I think, that Emma has come back and done so well. Aki would be proud of you, Emma, today. Uh, Miki Kiyama, Q9, uh, qualified nine, and race to P6. A decent start, got up to P7, and then got up to P6 after that. She's very modest, um, almost too self-critical. Told me afterwards in an interview that uh, she blames herself. She was not good enough. She's not a good enough driver. Not a bit of it, Mickey. Excellent today, as usual. Great pace. And uh, it meant that uh, she was uh, she got some more points for uh, P6. Where's Vicky now? Ah, right. OK, as I just waddle over to her, um, we can see if uh, she would mind having. Oh, she's I think she's going into something a bit. I'll tell you about Sabra Cook, who uh, oh, I think she's going into. Oh. Uh, Sabra Cook, Q10 and race uh, P7 in the race. Very happy Sabra Cook, the American driver. Best result in the series so far from better than P8 in Mizano. So it's P7 here. So excellent stuff. Tasman Pepper, again, 
massively consistent, more points for Tasman Pepper, qualified 11th, made her way up to 8th in the race, and uh, more consistent. Sabre got past Tasman uh, towards the end, but still that's not so bad. Sarah Moore, unfortunate for her, not great start, locked up and clattered into Shea Holbrook and Vivian Kessley, damage to the front left of her car, and then she spun round uh, and didn't finish the race, but was qualified last of all, P18. Caitlin Wood, solid weekend for the Australian. The clutch slipped at the start, that was the problem for Caitlin Wood. Uh, she qualified P13, ended up P12 in the race uh, and dropped to, uh, at the start, dropped to more or less last, but fought her way back up uh, and uh, to P12, just a couple of places off the points. Shea Holbrook, very uh, frustrated she is. Uh, I don't know if she's around the place. Shea Holbrook, there she is, talking to Lee McKenzie next to Claire down there, Aaron. Um, uh, she qualified P14, but was 15th in the race, had a left rear puncture, they couldn't see it on the data, apparently. Maybe they don't have live tire pressure uh, telemetry. She came into the pits, and the, they told us to drive straight through, but I think they couldn't see that she had a left rear puncture. So she did a whole lap with a puncture, came back into the pits, stopped, changed the tire, and then got a penalty, as I said earlier, for speeding in the pit lane. So if it could go wrong, it did go wrong for uh, Shea Holbrook today. Um, but uh, And then she got blue flags, which she's not very happy about, having to move out of the way for other people lapping her, but that is the way it goes. First point of the season for Esme Hawkey. So well done to her. She qualified P15, but made her way four points up, five places up to finish uh, P10. And great start, passed four cars at the st around the outside at the start and battled uh, Vicky Piria for P10, actually. Uh, and Vicky, I do want a quick word for you when you're ready, if that's all right. I, I, you've, uh, you seem to have had a slightly, well, you're not very happy. Are you okay? No, I'm not really happy. Tell, tell us why. Uh, simply because I, I didn't make the best of starts, but you know, I still managed P9, which was a good thing. Uh, and it's really important in this championship to keep up points. Uh, but I got um, accredited, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but uh, a jump start. And it's really, really subtle jump start. And I just, to be honest, I don't think it's fair. But racing is racing, rules are rules. So I just, you know, I have to deal with it and mine on us. It's the jump, I forgot. It's the jump start. Carla Sainz got away with it in uh, Austria. Was it Kevin Magnussen or both? Sometimes you get done for these jump starts yeah, and sometimes you don't. Was it just a little like a like it's, a little movement and um, then the thing is the let's say the downside of changing cars is that you're in a different car. Yeah. So my technique of starting, uh, if it makes sense to who's watching, is that I go to the bite point yeah. and then I go full throttle and I play with my bite point. Thing is sometimes you go to the bite point and the car slightly moves and that's what happened. So I didn't jump start, I didn't start early. I just kind of moved in my box. And you know, you're not supposed to do that. So that's what happened. All right. I understand. Thank you for talking to us. I know you didn't feel like it, but thank you anyway. I didn't meet anyone. And there you go. There you go. That's the story of Vicky's race. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So, we did uh, Naomi Schiff just finally finishing up. Naomi Schiff qualified P16. So, you can see, go for a little tour around, Aaron, while I, while I uh, finish round. Go for a little tour around. Off you go. Um, there's Jamie Chadwick. Here we go. Uh, Naomi Schiff, Q16, raced 11. Uh, her first street circuit, she was put off by the lack of time, track time that she had in. Uh, uh, free practice won, but grew in confidence throughout the weekend. Vivian Kesley won the shootout, uh, so good for her, but her weekend didn't get much better after that. Uh, qualified P17 and raced to P13. Got a decent race, got mixed up in Sarah Moore's spin, but recovered to P13. And finally, Alice Powell, who has had the worst luck out of anybody uh, this weekend. She's had four things go wrong from the, uh, well, the four in a row from Misano, getting punted out of that, flying up in the air a bit, the crash in free practice one with Esme Hawkey, then the, uh, the failure of the back of her car in qualifying, and then today the misfire and the fuel pressure light coming on meant that she was uh, finished in the pits, classified 17th, but a DNF, but was r racing P7 and P8 at the time. So uh, only better things clearly ahead for Alice Powell. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Claire and Lee and Shay and everybody will see you in Assen in a couple of weeks' time. Anything to impart? Who was, uh, anything caught your eye today, Ling Ling? What caught my eye is I've been banging on about this being wacky races for about one month, and it's the first W Series race we've had without a safety car.
So what do I know? I know nothing. You don't know nothing. You know everything. Uh, and with that, uh, I'll say thank you very much for watching. And uh, well, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks in Aston. Bye-bye.